Alex. Well, I was uh, 15 years old. 1965. I don't believe you remember 1965. I remember, unfortunately, 1965. But I was, uh, I've been playing the guitar for about six months. And one summer afternoon, there was a knock on my front door. And it was George Thies, a school pal of mine. And he had been dating my sister. So she told him that I played guitar. And he was inviting me to audition for his band. So that weekend, I followed him to a little small shotgun shack of a house one block from the town's rug mill. And it was there that I embarked on the greatest adventure of my young life. I joined my first real rock and roll band. And we lasted for three years, teenagers. That's a lifetime when you're a teenager. It's 1965, 66, 67, an explosive time in American history. Incredible moment to be in a, in a rock band. And then, but if you cut, if you cut forward, if you cut forward 50 years from that afternoon, on another summer day, I found myself standing at the side of George's deathbed. And uh, George had been in a rough battle with lung cancer the last years of his life, and he only had a few days to live. And I realized that his passing would leave me as the last surviving member of just that bunch of guys that got together that afternoon. So that's sort of like you're standing on the railroad tracks with the white hot light of an oncoming train bearing down on you. It brings a certain clarity of thought that you haven't previously experienced. Death's, death's final and lasting gift to the living is an expanded vision of this life itself. And George, George passed away, and shortly after that, shortly after that, I wrote this song. And uh, it was just about the passions you follow as, as children, not knowing where they're going to lead you. You know, and now how at 15 it's all tomorrows and hellos and. Later on, there's just a lot more yesterdays and goodbyes, you know. But it made me realize, George's death made me realize how important seizing the moment is. Living every moment. As deep as you can. And I always believe that that's why we get together like this. It's to remember we're alive. <laughs> so be good to yourself and to those you love and to this world that we live in. This is last man standing. Faded pictures in an old scrapbook. Faded pictures that somebody took When you were hard and young and proud Backed against the wall, running raw and loud Snakeskin vest and a sharkskin suit Cuban heels on your boots Kicking the band, then side by side. You take the crowd on their mystery ride. Knights of Columbus and the Fireman's Ball. Friday night at the Union Hall. Black leather clubs all along Route 9. You count the names of the missing as you count off time. Rock of ages lift me somehow. Somewhere high and hard and loud. Somewhere deep into the heart of the crowd. Oh, last man. 
Ah! Uh -huh. 